Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Snake Lady and today I have little Asclepian with me who's kind of calmed down a little bit now. He was a bit crazy when I got him out but he's a bit more chilled now which is good. So uh, today I just uh, wanted to show you a video of me cleaning all my snakes out. I actually cleaned all eight of them out in one go and yeah it nearly killed me but I did it. Um, and I also wanted to show you some of the products that I use when I clean them out um, and also all of them will be featuring in this video in some way or another so you'll get to have a little spy cam and uh, see what they're up to while I'm cleaning them out and then afterwards I will just be doing a snake room tour and just showing you around this room and everything that I've got in it and what I use to sort of help care for these guys so uh, yeah so without any further ado I shall just get straight on with the video and thanks very much for watching So I'm going to use this Viv Clean spray bottle uh, to just clean all the furniture that's in their tanks and then I dry the furniture, yeah I, I say furniture but you know what I mean, the bits in their tank, I dry them with a bit of towel so that's that so I'll get on and do that. So as you can see, I've cleaned out Cadassus's tank and I'm just going to do the same with obviously my other snake's tank. So I won't bore you with all the details, so I'll just get straight on and clean everyone else's out.
okay so as you can see i've got my hoovers there for helping me clean out the snakes um i also have this little thing up here a little note on a whiteboard just to say when i've cleaned them all out and this has just got a load of flannels in it i'll see if i can get it down there we go so this has got a load of little flannels in it that i wet and then put in their tanks just to make it more humid for when they're shedding their skin hang that back up there there we go okay that is that lovely snake tea towel that i got for christmas so i got these um i can't even remember what they're called now asparagus bush thingies from hobby craft but i've never used them because they've got this weird white stuff that flakes off so anyway so i've just got little bits and bobs in here um that's the remote control for zephyrus's old fairy lights um and so i've got some artificial foliage and bits and bobs in there so um and some wooden discs <laughs> as you can see i've put these uh daisy garlands up that go all the way along their tanks and that is Cadassius's tank as you can see all the bits and bobs in there this is uh sorry for the noise this is uh a Sclepian's tank excuse my reflection and he's just there on this table and now we have Apollonia, who I can't see anywhere. I'm sure she's in there somewhere. But yeah, she'll be in there. And this is Athene's tank as well. Yeah, again, hiding. This is Artemis's tank. She's got her new ivy garland up that I put up the other day. So that looks good. And she's got her new rock hide thingy there. Australia's got her garland as well, her ivy garland up at the back there as well, so that's new for her. This is Aristeus's tank, he's got his new water bowl. Um, he hasn't got anything else new in there, that's just it for now, but I have got a few bits to put in. And this is Zephyrus's tank with his new water bowl so uh, and his feeding dish. Um, yeah, so he's got all his little bits in there, those um, loggy, those, sorry, those log hide bits there, he's got those, so um, yeah, I can't see him at the minute, but he'll be out later. So I haven't put these in yet into my hoggy boys tanks because I'm going to get a bigger tank for Aristeus and I'm just figuring out what to do with these and how to put them in their tanks okay so this is where i keep my substrate it's just under this sheet um there's another thing of substrate over there that's open but yep yeah, so i've got that under there as i say bag of substrate that's already open this bowl i use just to put all their old water in and then i tip it down the loo they have got their thermostats out so uh, there's those ones for Artemis and Australia um, and the other ones that's uh, Apollonia and Athenes and that's um, Asclepian and Cadassius's and, uh, and I also have a spy cam to just keep an eye on them <laughs> This is what I put the frozen mice in to defrost, so the, they each have their own sections um, and I put most of the mice in there and I, then I, my hoggy boys, they're on hoppers so I just kind of squished those in there with um, a fuzzy for Artemis but yeah, so excuse the mess by the way <laughs> and they're just my tongs so they come in handy. I do have their lights on timers just so you can see there there's a timer and these new fairy lights have got their own timer on so there's that these are my hoggy boys uh, thermostats as I say they've got timers there's a fan there that's plugged in for uh, Aristeus and I've yet to plug Zephyrus's fans in so I'm going to do that in a bit a normal fan just to keep the air moving round 
in this room because it gets quite warm. I've got these push lights to put in Zephyrus's tank as well, so I will be doing that as well. I've got a little list of things to do. Got some door pull grip thingies, which are quite good. Um, spare foliage, uh, F10 wipes, random gloves for if any of them are feeling bitey. Um, got my Viv clean. Um, and yeah, I think this is an odour eliminator, but I've never used it, so, um, but yeah, so that's that for now. Oh, and here is just where I keep the little holding box for when I'm uh, cleaning them out. I've also got some kitchen roll for cleaning, bottle of water, I've got a few bottles in the other room as well, I like to give them bottled water just because it's nice to give them water that doesn't have chalk in, basically. So. So there's that. Under here is a load of crap, more timers. This I thought would be good for insulation in the winter if it gets too cold in here. Some random grass foliage stuff as well. That's my uh, Dremel stuff that I drill holes with. And yeah, there's just other crap under there. So <laughs> uh, yeah, this is where I keep my weighing scales with my book and pen to keep an eye on their weights. And as you can see, there's some hand sanitizer down there. And in these boxes is just a load of random crap that I've gathered over the years and that they've grown out of or don't use anymore. So I need to do something with those. But um, yeah, so there's that as well. So as you might have spotted, I've got my Pegasus ornaments up there. Um, I love Greek mythology and anything mythical and sort of fantasy like. Some stamps there, you can't see the other side but yeah there's some stamps there and a little owl that I made random candles for some nice ambient light or ambient light whatever you want to call it so yeah some nice candles for ambient light and as you've all spotted I am obsessed with the Lord of the Rings I collected these postcards about 20 odd years ago and I just decided to put them in a frame so yeah, and then I've got my pictures of my four main babies, so that needs updating because I've obviously got another four new babies. Uh, another part of filming equipment there and there. And yeah, so that's it. So as you can see, um, everyone's sort of settled back into their nice clean homes and whatnot. Um, and as I say, my four youngest, um, had things added to their tanks and bits and bobs so I still don't know quite what to do with those um, palm torch thingies but I'll figure something out so I would like to get Aristeus um, as I said before a bigger tank a three foot by 18 by 18 but um, I'm saving up at the moment so that'll just have to wait but um, yeah so everyone seems all right with everything that's in their tank and one thing and another so uh, yeah I'm really pleased that I managed to get everything cleaned out and done before you know my wedding and honeymoon and all the rest of it so um, yeah so that's it for now so if you did enjoy this video then please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that then just pop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer but for now from myself and the craziest Sclapian it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video thanks very much for watching crazy boy <laughs>